Have you ever heard that rat problem lead to state creation? After Article 370 was removed, you witnessed JNK become a union territory. But have you ever heard of a state that first became a union territory before becoming a state? This is the tale of a state that, like other state before, it was part of Assam, but their battle has a long history. So, Chibai community. Well, stop. What did I say? I said hello or hi community in Mizo language. So, welcome community. Let's discuss today's topic, the founding of Mizoram, a stunning state in Northeast India and Expressio in a car. Up to 1972, Mizoram shared borders with Burma and Bangladesh and was a region of Assam known as Lusha Hills area. It was a district in Assam called Mizoram, then then became territory. Up until 1957, everything was quiet, but then things started to happen. A Motham or Motak flower starts to develop in 1957, which causes problem in the hills for it. It grows on a bamboo. Since the crop in the hills are already less frequent than on the mainland, they are carefully preserved. After a period of maybe 40-45 years, bamboo produces the flower. Mizo people hold the belief that these flowers attract rats and that rats eat all the crop, which is actually true. This flower appear contagious if just one bamboo develops slowly the entire jungle of bamboo will have this flower. This has gradually resulted in hunger or as we term in Hindi, Akal. This flower is a favorite of rats and it also helps them reproduce more. According to British records from 1862 and 1911, hunger in the Lusha hills also caused famine and starvation. The same resulted in 1958. So the Mizo district has requested 1.5 lakh rupee from the government as aid, claiming that they will starve to death if they are not given. But evidently, the government has rejected their request and claimed that it is a tribe superstition. Rats eventually arrived and destroyed all the crops, confirming the fear slowly. People became angry by this ignorance which gave rise to insurgency. Additionally, the Assam government came up with the idea of capture one mouse, take 40 paisa. In 1958 to 1960, this primarily occurred. Recently, the Assam government imposed Assamese as official language for government employment and one thing led to another, turning Assamese citizens against their own state government. People then formed the Mizo National Front as their rightful organization and Lal Denga was the leader. Let's first understand who are the Mizo people before discussing their fight. Mizo are a long-lived ethnic group from Mizoram and their home is in Mizo or Lusha Hill. It exists in Mizoram southern region next to Bangladesh. In addition to Myanmar and Bangladesh, Mizos have established themselves in Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Manipur. They are tribal people, however, today all tribes proudly refer to them as Mizo. These are the well-known and proud Mizo tribes. Jolin, Ralph, Poi, Jahao, Pankhap, Lakhar, Paite, Palam, Tangur, Khongli, Dalang, Sukte, Fanai, Leul, and Ma. Well, now discuss the Mizo's National Front fight. At the beginning of the situation, MNF protested politely and non-violently. But in 1964, Assam Regiment abolished the 2nd Battalion, which was primarily made up of Mizo population, causing soldiers to join in the MNF Army, also known as the Mizo National Army. According to sources, China assisted them in smuggling weapons and ammunition from Bangladesh, which was then known as East Pakistan. Thus, violence broke out and Indian retaliation. 
They then eventually moved to East Pakistan and Burma to hide. Lal Denga was once detained in 1963 due to assistance from East Pakistan and after being charged with sedition, he was eventually freed by a court. Later in 1965, MNF sent PM Lal Bahadur Shastri one memorandum stated whether the Mizo nation will live in peace with India or not is currently up to India to decide. Unfortunately, Shastri ji passed away suddenly and MNF began an operation called Zerico in February. By February 28, 1966, MNF and volunteer armed wing were instructed to assault military Assam rifles, BSF and other targets around 10:30 pm. <coughs> On March 1st, 1966, exactly, they declared their independence, destroying a military chopper near Aizawa. Roads that connect to other parts of Assam have also been destroyed. All offices have been taken over, and all phone connections that connect to India have been destroyed. Later, from the headquarters of the Assam Rifle, they removed the national flag. and raise the so MNF as a result a demand for a separate independence movement was formed when the Mizo Nation front was established in 1961 similar to what we discussed for Sikkim after Shastri ji Indira Gandhi took over the chair however 3 days after they had proclaimed their independence The army moved from Silchar to Mizo Hill. Forces have distributed flares from the air to warn people from taking part in or supporting MNF. In Aizawl on March 5, 1966, Indian Air Force helicopters were flying around. Because of the MNF army retaliations, the army was unable to enter on the ground, so asked for help from the IF in Aizawl. The entire city of Aizawl has been damaged in a matter of hours. due to fighting revenge attacks and bloodshed the army has now taken the control of mizor people were upset with the government because Mrs Gandhi clarified that the IF had chosen to focus on ration distribution and livelihood and operation continued till March 13th For investigative purpose, two members of Assam Legislative Assembly searched the area. They discovered a few bombs that had not exploded and suggested sending them to Delhi to show the Prime Minister. Following these events, more citizens joined the insurgency organization. बांग्लादेश Lal Denga moved to London but Sai Manisha was aware of the situation out of 764 villages 516 have been evacuated and relocated as a result of his efforts he was aware that MNF could collapse in the absence of local backing villages are kept in complete security given new identities and are also required to attend because they see that people are not going to support mnf and are not taking part in such activities army has nearly put an end 
to the violent protest as of 1970. Non-violent protests were taking place although conditions were mostly quiet. Lal Denga began discussion with the government later in 1980. Mrs Gandhi has set out two demands. The MNF army that has surrendered must do so and matters should be resolved in accordance with the Indian constitution. Examples like illegal demands to form another nation will not be taken into consideration. Unfortunately, Mrs Gandhi was assassinated by her own guards as Lal Denga and Mrs Gandhi were scheduled to meet on 31st October 1984. As soon as Rajiv Gandhi assumed the position of Prime Minister, Home Secretary Adi Pradhan began negotiation with Lal Denga. By MNF, like a condition, put as unconditional surrender. Put Lal Nehru in fact of as of our division. Things began in September 1985. and by october 1985 750 mnf member had surrendered sentari ke logo to aati thi ta so so kanin biagna no no dar so so no dar so sentari ke logo to aati thi so anam ga to be a peace accord ka kan thang so ta Then on June 30, 1986, the Indian government and the MNF signed the Mizoram After Peace Accord, which is one of the major accomplishments of Rajiv Gandhi administration. Peace came in 1986, 30th of June, brings to an end 20 years of insurgency and leads to the Mizo National Front coming over ground. <laughs> Mizoram became the country of India's 23rd state on February 20, 1987. Elections were held and Lal Denga was elected as Mizoram first for her. Well, it might have been very difficult for us to restart after it was the talk was broken off in 1982. So today I would like certainly to recall her in what she has done for us. Mizoram means what? The land of Mizo. This is how a happy literate state is established and a long battle is won. Therefore, we wish Mizoram luck and hope that the state becomes more economically dependent, joyful, literate. Thank you.